Welcome back to another video style crew. If you're new here, I am Rio. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about fall and winter footwear. Let's do it. That time is officially here. Fall has come, winter is on the way, and it's almost like winter is already here. Uh, this, these temperatures have been ridiculous. I don't know where you're at, but where I'm at in Columbus, Ohio, it is 24 degrees outside right now. That's winter. <laughs> we we almost we literally had like maybe two weeks of fall, and then it just went straight into winter. It's been cold. Of course, when it's cold, we look to switch up our wardrobe and our footwear, and this video is dedicated solely to footwear. You get it solely to footwear? I'm sure you got it. Before we hop into this video, I would like you guys to drop a comment letting me know where you're located and what the temperature is in your city or state or town, or whatever. I'm really curious to kind of see where you guys are from, where you are, what kind of temperatures you're having. Temperatures, of course, do dictate our fashion and our fashion choices. So I'd like to know what kind of temperatures you guys are experiencing where you're at. Get into this list, I have top 10 fall and winter footwear. This is my first time doing a video like this. As long as I've had my channel, I don't think I've ever done a top 10 sneakers or boots or whatever footwear for a particular season. The goal for me here wasn't to just pick a particular colorway and then tell you about it and then tell you that you should have this colorway. I wanted to just bring a sneaker model or a boot model and then kind of encourage you to look more at that if you don't already do. So if I name something, of course, these things will have a wide variety of colors and colorways and different materials and things like that. So I'll be breaking these down into two different categories. We have the boots and then we have the sneakers. With boots and with sneakers, both, they have their own subcategories. So with boots, we have our street boots, we have our casual boots, and then we have our dress slash dapper boots. Now for this list, I'm gonna keep the dapper out of the equation because I don't know if you guys really want to see too many dapper pieces like that. But for myself personally, I'm slowly been getting into more dapper pieces and more dapper wear. And I would love to bring that more to my channel. I just I just don't know if you guys are really into that. Hopping into this and we're gonna start with something that is probably the most utilized every single year. I wear them every single year. And as long as I'm doing a list like this for fall and winter, they will most likely are definitely be in this list every single year because they are simply a staple for this time of year. And that is the six inch wheat Timberland boot. And of course, this is gonna fall under that street category. This by far is one of the most classic and timeless pieces that you can have. Of course, these things were popularized in the 90s by tons of different rappers. Biggie already told you and hypnotized Tim's from my hood in Brooklyn. This is this is it. But of course, if you're rocking the Tim's, you don't just stop here. You gotta have the blacks, black suede, both of these are suede. And of course, when it comes to fall and winter, depending on the conditions outside, if it's really slushy and, and rainy and, and um, snowy, whatever the case may be, the suede may not be your first choice. And if it is, you wanna make sure you have some kind of suede protectant on it so they're not getting all damaged. But wait, I'm not done. I also have them in a brown leather as well. I have three pair of Tim's Brooklyn, which I've had for quite a while because they are something I go to every single year. Hands down, bar none. If your style is somewhat street, you definitely should look into having a pair as well. Next up on this list is a pair that I personally do not own, but these are going to be another street boot and these are a combat boot. The combat boot has been in trend for some time as well, and this time of year, you're gonna see them out a lot. And one of the brands that's kind of been up here compared to everyone else is simply the Doc Martin. Again, I personally don't own any of these, but I know every single year these tend to be in trend. And if this is gonna fit your personal street style, I think you should probably look into getting a pair as well. So that would do it for our street boots. And I wouldn't look at more of our casual options for boots. For me personally, I will stand a little more partial to a Chelsea boot. Chelsea boot is something I started to get into a few years ago and man do I love these things because depending on the actual color and the material and the overall silhouette and shape of them they can be a dressier option but of course they fall a little more true to a casual piece. I have this pair here from Topman which has more of a harder sole but we also do have a crepe sole as well and a tan upper both in suede and then I do have a black pair as well. Black easy to wear classy classic timeless dress up dress down maybe one of those things that you may want to get in a leather i personally do not wear leather chelsea's 
but I think that's gonna change. I, but I just haven't found a brand or a pair that I like enough to spend money on. I've mainly been going with suede options. And for our fourth boot, this is gonna be falling into the casual and slightly dapper side as well. We have the Chuckaboo. Again, this is something that I personally do not own and I feel like I should. I don't know why I don't have any Chuckas. I think it's because my style has been street for such a long time that I've kind of been falling by nature to street footwear. The Chuckaboo, just like all these other options that we've talked about, can be found in so many different colors, silhouettes, fabrics, tons of brands do them as well. <coughs> You can even get a little spunky with it and get a chucker sneaker. But I just think the chucker, like these other options, can be one of the perfect choices for the fall and the winter. Now that we covered the boots, now it's time to talk about some sneakers. The rest of these are in no particular order, and I'm just gonna go off that list one by one. Now the first sneaker we're gonna be talking about is simply the Air Force One. Air Force One I used to rock when I was a child a lot, but as I've grown up and my style started to change, and I started to wear a little more slimmer silhouettes, more fitted clothing. I just felt that the Air Force One was a little bit too bulky and too big, but it also does have its place in my style and my wardrobe. When we talk about the categories, whether the street or the casual or the dapper, of course the Air Force One is gonna fall in that street category and it's been a staple in fashion for easily 30 years. The colorway I have here is gonna be in the flax color, I believe. So I have these in high, which these released, I believe in 2014. But I also do have them in the mid, which released, I believe in 2015. Amazing, amazing shoes for the fall and winter. Of course, these lend to the color of the Wheat Timberlands, but the Air Force Ones have tons of different options and so many different colors and colorways and even materials. I purposely chose all of these models because you have so many different materials and varieties that you can choose from. So if the Air Force One is not on your list for this fall and winter season, you may want to change that. Next up on my list is going to be shared. So I have the Vans Old School and the Vans Skate High. Two very similar silhouettes by, of course, the same brand. All of my old schools are put up. I didn't grab any of them down, but old schools, are, of course, are an amazing option. They are low cut, so they may not be your first option, but that's why I'm also mentioning the Skate High. Depending on your temperatures, like right now, 24, now 25 degrees, you may not want to have something that's low cut because if your ankles catch that draft, it's not going to feel good. Of course, you can have socks, but when you're dealing with these sub below temperature weathers, you want to have something that's going to wrap around your ankle give you some additional warmth. And of course, the Skate High can provide that. Again, just like all of these options that we've talked about so far, tons of different colors, tons of different colorways, tons of different materials, so many different options. And Vans in general is gonna give you an affordable option as well. Next up, we have a Jordan 9. Jordan 9 is not one of my favorite Jordan numbers or silhouettes. But of course, the Olive Colorway, however, happens to be my favorite Jordan 9. And for that reason, is one of two Jordan 9s that I actually own. One of the reasons why I put Jordan 9 on this list for the fall and winter is simply because of that outsole. You can hear that these things are solid, they're rugged, and they are durable. During this time of year, you want to wear something that is durable because the conditions outside is gonna need something that's gonna be able to battle those temperatures. Next up, we have a Jordan 11. I don't, I don't know if I need to say any more. We get these sneakers released in every single December. I'm not entirely sure exactly why, but similar to the Jordan 9, those things, those, those outsoles at the bottom they're fairly durable. And then Jordan 11 usually has that patent leather upper. Of course, those things are easy to wipe off and easy to clean as long as you don't get them scuffed. Of course, this year we have the Bread 11s dropping. And I imagine if any of you get those sneakers, you're gonna be rocking them this winter. So next up, I wanted to throw in something very simple. It was something that I'm sure I may have somewhere. I honestly just couldn't really find anything. Just a simple leather lace up. So many different brands make these. A lot of different colors that you can get them in. Of course, you can do suede lace ups, but like we talked about, leather will be the way to go. And I'm gonna, of course, interject some here to give you some ideas. And to round off this list, number one will be my favorite, what I wear all the time. If you know me, you know what I'm probably about to say, the Jordan one. Any colorway, whatever color you wanna wear, that's the way to go. Giving you that slim cut, sleek silhouette is my favorite shoe of all time. For that reason, it's probably gonna round off somewhere in the top few of any list that I do. There you have it, those were my top 10 
sneakers and boots, your footwear, your fall footwear, fall and winter footwear, whatever you want to call it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a comment down below letting me know which options are your favorites. I listed mine. Let me know what yours are. And if you just want to list a particular color or colorway of a certain shoe, feel free to do that. Make it a little bit easier for you guys. Don't forget to let me know where you're located and the temperature of where you are when you're watching this video. Even if it's in the summertime you're watching this video, let me know the temperature that it is currently. If you're new to this channel and you're not subscribed, make sure you do that. Feel free to check out my channel, check out my other videos. You'll see fashion, style, and lifestyle videos there as well. Follow me over on Instagram. Links will be right here, also in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Tim's my home against in Brooklyn.